Type E just keeps on getting better and better. For the people who do not know, Type E is a Python library which has integrated AI as a key component in its backend, which is allowing you to create and build different production grade ready web applications. And it's also where it's allowing you to integrate data as well as AI algorithms without development and deployment complexities. Now, the reason why I am covering Type E once again is obviously because you love it, but also because they have dropped a new update where they're focusing on elevating innovating AI and data workflows, where they basically stated in their blog post that it is a new version which is going to be providing a robust, scalable, and intuitive functionality that is going to cater to the community as well as for enterprise needs. For example, they have now added this new component where you are able to integrate third-party integrations and it's going to allow you to seamlessly integrate a broad range of Python libraries into Typebee's application that you have basically created without waiting for any specific integration. You have Python's visualization library such as Folium or even Altair and you have the ability to access many other libraries which is really cool to see. This is just one of many other updates that have came with the 3.1 update with Type e, and it's something that we're going to be covering throughout today's video as we uncover this update and showcase how you can get started. So with that thought guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a Patreon this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Type E 3.1, which is introducing several key features aimed at enhancing AI and data workflows. And this is for the community as well as for enterprise users. Now, this is where they're going to allow you to seamlessly upgrade as well as elevate how you create web-based applications with Type B. As firstly, they have now introduced this feature where they're going to empower the community addition with new features through the third-party component integration, where you're going to be able to seamlessly incorporate a wide range of Python libraries into Type B's application, which is the example we covered at the start. Secondly, you have the native Plotly integration, where you're going to be having improved integrations with Plotly, and this is for enhanced data visualization with integration of AI. And lastly, you have the ability to have distribution computing, which is where it's a solution with advanced features like distributed computing, as well as telemetry, where they're introducing to cater to the needs of enterprise users. Well, this might not be something that many of us regular viewers might be interested in, but it's something that's going to enhance scalability as well as performance with this new distributed computing feature. So now let's actually take a look at all of these three features further in depth. Firstly, let's take a look at this enhancement in Type e where it's going to be allowing us to easily incorporate various Python libraries into applications. This is without the need of specific integrations where you as a user or a developer can visualize HTML or Python objects utilizing any anything within Type e's generic part object. This is where it's going to facilitate seamless integration. And this is with the visualization libraries such as Folium and many of the others that are provided. Now, to delve a little bit deeper into this feature, there is a part block consolidation visual element where it's going to be focused into one single unit. And it's going to enable users to manipulate and display them effortlessly. And it's going to also allow you to collectively streamline the organization of all of these visual components in one particular cell which is really cool as previously this was nothing this was something that wasn't actually accomplishable secondly we have the native plotly integration where you're going to be able to have enhanced platform data and visualization capabilities so previously they've integrated additional plotly charts into type e, and the visualization capabilities of it were great but not 
at the same complexity as it is now. But with this update, we can see that Plotly charts can now be seamlessly embedded with the Type E application using just a single line of code while still maintaining Type E's performance and interactivity. So you can see that this is going to allow you to control and include new properties called figures, and it's going to expect an instance of Plotly graphs, and it's a class that is provided by the Plotly open source graphing library within Python. So this would be really uh, helpful for a lot of developers who are trying to integrate AI algorithms or data into visualizations. And lastly, this is the introduction of the distributed computing feature, which is addressing the growing demand from enterprises. And this is where it's going to solve issues for scalable data processing solutions. And it's a feature that's going to allow for computational tasks to be distributed across multiple machines. And thereby, it's going to enhance the performance for large scale data projects. Now, with this distributed computing system that they've integrated with Type-P, you're going to be able to execute complex computation tasks more efficiently, and it's going to lead to reduced turnaround times and increased productivity. This is a really cool feature that I really like that Type-E has integrated. Obviously, it's not for the regular user, but we can see that it's allowing users, even at a smaller level, have the scalability of their projects. Now, if you're interested, definitely take a look at the release notes, which is going to have all the detailed integrations of all the new features. It's going to showcase how you can get started with all of these cool new features. So definitely take a look at this because it is very resourceful and it will give you all the new changes that have been made with this new update. And this is just a bit more context as to what type is for the people who do not know or this is your first time hearing about it because i have covered it multiple times as this is an open source project that is going to allow you to create production ready applications with the ability to easily get started with their python library and we can see from a couple examples you're able to create various flows you can create stock visualization apps this is a dashboard that was created with uh, type e and you can see that it is a tool that will provide you all the resources that are needed to get started it will showcase how you can install all these features and it's something where they have a library of all the code that is needed to basically integrate and create various things such as this visual chart or this tool that will basically allow you to have stock price analysis and it can be something that you can get started with right now and I'll leave all the links as to what you can do or how you can get started with all of these tools so definitely take a look at all the links that I use in today's video in the description below now just take a look at this example where we're taking a look at the power of type e's talk to type e feature this is something that is enabling users to explore the data set using natural language commands where instead of waiting for reports or manually writing code you can basically simply input commands like plot sales by product line in a pie chart and type e will generate the corresponding visualization and data manipulation based off the code in the behind of the scenes. So we can see that I can just simply type in plot sales by product line in a pie chart. And I'm gonna click enter. And as this is running the query, it's gonna slowly but surely start plotting this in a pie chart. And we can see that it is slowly working on creating this. And as it goes by, it's gonna generate this plot. So you can see that you can interact with this UI that has been hosted by Type B, and it's gonna simplify the front end development. This is a cool new feature that they have integrated, and it's gonna allow you to prompt in different things that are sent to the large language model that is behind this application. And the model is gonna generate the pandas code to manipulate the data and type b will code to create that visualization which you can see over here and it creates this graph or a chart for the visualization of our data and this is where it's going to be rendered back to you within a couple of seconds but you can see that this is an example that is emphasizing the importance of delivering results quite quickly in this fast-paced environment and it's showcasing how type b's talk to type e feature is going to streamline the data exploration process so you can see that this is something that you can create with type e it's something that you can easily get started with based off of their python library and that's about it for today's video on type e i've covered this many times and this is something that i truly recommend that you take a look at I'll leave all the links to prior videos that I used in today's video, as well as their GitHub repo, which I truly recommend that you give a star because this is an amazing project that has been helping a lot of people, especially me, because I was able to create a lot of front-end apps with this tool. So definitely keep this 
on your radar. It's something that they're continuously improving on and it's something that's completely for free. So I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video in the description below. This is a great tool that will help you implement AI into your data as well as having the ability to create web-based applications that are production grade level with Typey. So with that thought guys, make sure you check, take a look at the Patreon page if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.